So here's an example of how I use Shrinker in my own video workflow to greatly reduce the file size of the screencasts that I make. If you haven't watched the first video explaining what Shrinker is, I've added a link to it above and in the description below. So let's say you've captured a bunch of screencasts and they look like this. They're not huge, but you can definitely shrink them down without losing any quality. The first step is to grab a copy of the Shrinker archive script from GitHub and place it in the folder with your videos. Then run the script. It'll find all the files, and then it will run for a good long while, depending on how powerful your CPU is. During that time, your CPU usage will probably hit 100%, possibly for a few hours. At the end of that process, you'll see archival versions of the videos next to the original files. These files will usually be something like 75 to 90% smaller than the original files. This is a tremendous amount of savings. And of course, because we're using a proper build system, if we run the conversion command again, it will see that there were no changes to the source or archival files, and it won't do the work over. At this point, you can remove the original files. Now, if you were worried that your archival file has lost quality, don't worry. The two files are actually mathematically identical, and that can be proven by checking the peak signal-to-noise ratio, the PSNR, and the structural similarity index measure, the SSIM. When you get the results, you can see that the PSNR is infinite, and the SSIM is also infinite, or unity. The only way this is possible is if there is zero difference between the archival file and the original file. So this is where I leave you. There are more details about how the compression actually works on a technical level, but they are out of scope for this video. Thanks for watching.